What's up, Electroheads? Cole back into a video. I'm joining Ailish today for something she's been hyping up for a little while. Explain. So, we have not one, but two beautiful ADO 28s. <laughs> Because I have loved this bike so much, I really wanted to get another one so that Cole and I could go out together for a gorgeous day out. And we are here in Greenwich, and today we are gonna be doing an in-depth review of these electric bikes. So I'm talking a range test, I'm talking a hill test, and- <laughs> That was not planned. <laughs> it wasn't planned. And I'm just gonna be giving you a really, really lovely overview of exactly what this bike has to offer with Cole by my side. And I'm gonna be giving you my first impressions riding it from scratch, but to do that, we need to head back to where we started. Back to the studio. I'm, all I'm taking really is this. Crisscross. One, two. It's not the prettiest looking package. No, no it's not. It's pretty secure. At least I don't have to carry that on my back. Let's go. Always waiting. Waiting for you as always. That is out of order. <laughs> So Carl, obviously we know that it's got a beautiful carbon belt drive. You are able to wear more floaty clothes. It's not going to get like stuck in the chain mm. or whatever. But seeing as I've got quite loose trousers today, I wore some uh, some special socks because oh, we've no. got to tuck the trousers in. Oh no, not the socks thing again. Oh yes. Look at my little chippies. Oh my God, the chip, the fries. <laughs> They're fries. They're fries. I've got fry socks. You're welcome everyone. <laughs> Love it. I just feel really underdressed now. Where's your colour? Where's your colour, man? Black. Just a little, little goth today. Because tonight will be the night that I will fall for you. Right, should we hit the road? <laughs> Let's go. Just jumped on this Air 28 and I've immediately got some incredible impressions. First of all, the smoothness, it's butter smooth. I'm so used to riding bikes with chain drive and gears and there's always a little bit of a rattle, a cassette noise. This, not a single noise, it is dead silent. Like like a cloud. Honestly, this bike is just magic. It soaks up all the kind of bumps in the road. It's got lovely big tires, so you just feel so stable. And because it's got that duchy style bike positioning, you're sat nice and upright. You've got lovely balance. And it's just very easy to take your hands off to indicate. Because it's not got any gears and it's torque sensor, the way it propels you is exactly proportionate to how much force you put on, which means if you don't want to accelerate too fast, it'll just accelerate as fast as you put the force in. I'm used to cadence sensors and my God, what a difference. Here, it's just like a natural progression, like a normal bike. So you're impressed? I'm so impressed just from the smoothness of it alone. Oof, look at this display. That is sexy. First up, let me run you through the features. The ADO Air 28 is a single speed carbon belt drive electric commuter molded after one of the most popular bike frames, the Dutch style. Nearly anyone can jump one of these thanks to its low step through design, generous wheel size for stability, and caters to a rider height from five foot two to six foot eight with a max rider weight of 120 kilograms. The frame is made from aluminum alloy and comes with a pannier rack, mud guards, a bell, a 3.5 inch IPD color screen, integrated front light, and a rechargeable tail light. A basket is also available to add on and really completes that duchy bike look. The 36 volt, 250 watt Hall brushless DC motor can punch out 37 Newton meters of torque to pit you into first place as you fly off at the traffic lights. The EU version maxes out at 15.5 miles per hour, but goes up to 20 if you qualify for the international spec. To maintain its sleek design, the battery is integrated in the seat post with a locking mechanism inbuilt. So yes, you guessed it, the battery is removable should you want to charge on the go or take it with you to add an extra layer of security when you lock your bike up in public. The 28 offers a Samsung cell battery that has battery management systems in place to keep you safe. Now range claims for this bike are up to 100 kilometers on one charge with a charge time between four to six hours. I will be covering the real world range in today's video, so keep watching for that. Another welcomed bonus is the front fork shock absorption, which delivers an incredibly comfortable ride. However, the weight of this bike does come in at a slightly denser 21 kg. But interestingly, it doesn't feel this heavy thanks to the weight distribution. Now brakes are hydraulic for all weather stopping power and color wise, you can choose from light yellow, pastel blue and gray. Now to find out on the latest pricing, check the link in the description below as the pricing does change. All right, so let me show you how the different levels of assist perform. So I'm in level one assist right now. I'm gonna kick off and already you can see it just carries me at such a beautiful pace. I'm put, putting down a bit of weight. That torque sensor is just picking up on how much weight I'm putting through those pedals. And in level one assist, 
I'm comfortably cycling at 11 miles per hour. I'm gonna hit up to level two and there is just a slight, slight increase in assist there. It's so, so minimal. And I think that is what I really love. It's just very smooth, very small, very natural. I'm up to level three now. Again, it's just taking that weight of the bike off my legs. And again, I'm cycling at a very comfortable 13 miles per hour. Level four assist, we're going up and up and up in speed. It's just taking all the weight off the bike and I'm already at 15.5. So already in those upper assists, it's gonna take you to that top speed without much effort at all. Finally, let's put it into assist five. And I can feel just as I put down one pedal, the assist, just instantly kicks in and already I'm at 15.5 miles per hour. It just gets you up to speed in seconds. So do you only have three levels? I only have three levels, but it's possible that this is a new version. Of sure. Yeah. yeah, we can look into that because it'll be good to know if there's a level three version yeah, out. Adio have confirmed the yellow bike is the production version. It comes with three levels of assist, but you can change this up to five should you wish. So if you want increments of assist to be bigger and more noticeable, then set it to three modes. If you want a more gradual step up, then set the assist to five. To do this, hold both the plus and minus buttons together, enter the passcode 0000 and change up those assist levels. All right, back to the video. Seeing as we have two bikes with us, I thought this would be the perfect opportunity to give you a demonstration of what it's like to have the bike in zero assist and also the max assist. So Cole over here, Speed Demon, is gonna be going at the max assist. I'm gonna go at zero and I'm just gonna basically demonstrate what it's like on different ends of the scale. So make sure you don't hit my... I was just gonna say, should we swap sides? Cause you're gonna hit yes. me with your stick. <laughs> <laughs> with my rhythm stick. Right, right you go forward go and left and forward. I'll go on, the on the right. Right, so I'll make sure it's down to level zero. There's no cheating here, okay? So I want you on my line. All right, it's Are all we clear. clear behind. We're all clear. Are you ready? We're not being a nuisance. Ready? Right, I'm on level three assist. Okay. And we're going to go in three, two, one, go. Okay, off we go. And he's off. I mean, I'm pretty sure you can pedal without any assist like Ailish is now. Very curious what it's like for her though. So I'm pedaling up to a very comfortable 10 miles per hour. And this is just with the power of my legs. There is no electric assist. It's very comfortable once you get up to the higher speeds. There's not too much resistance going through the legs. This is obviously a fairly weighty bike, but it doesn't feel like a weighty bike. So worst comes worse, if you do run out of battery, you will be able to cycle this bike home as long as you haven't got some incredibly steep hills. Ah, oh, to be fair, I wasn't racing. I was just having a nice, comfortable cycle. Also, just to show you guys that I really have just jumped on this bike for the first time. As you can see, we've just done a little first test ride and I'm on a total of 2.2 kilometers. So this bike is absolutely brand spanking new. So we've been cycling through some narrow traffic just now with Ailish. My, my impressions are that it gives you a lot of nice stability. The handlebars aren't too wide because they kind of come in a bit. So coming through narrow spots between cars is quite nice, especially for a large size bike like this. It feels very maneuverable within traffic, sort of keeping up with cyclists, it's very nice. It's very nice. So Ailish, what are we actually doing today? So I'm gonna take you up to Greenwich we're going to go get a really nice coffee at the market. We're just going to have a little explore and see what there is there because it is world famous. We are going to go hill test these babies. And I want us to go and pick up some tasty treats from somewhere in Greenwich that we can take back to the office Ooh. to surprise all our lovely, lovely electro heads with on Monday morning. Love that. <laughs> Let's do it. Yes. And we're back where we started because next up we're going to be doing the hill test. So right here in Greenwich Park, there is a lovely long hill with a gradient of a max of about 8%. So we're gonna be riding these bikes up, we're gonna be testing them out, seeing how they feel, and we're gonna be reporting back in real time. And then we're gonna be taking on an even steeper hill which I actually don't know the gradient, but it's pretty intense. We did that on our hill test video that we did with about seven or eight bikes that we had. If you wanna check out that video, then click the link right here. But for now, let's put these babies to the test. All right, should we do this? So we're both in level five assist, yeah? Yep, well, I've got, yeah, max assist. Yeah, yeah ready? I was doing this one-handed, so this is more of a test to him than me. <laughs> right, three, two, one. Oh, this is taking the weight off. Right, so instantly, I mean, look, there's not much of a climb. There's a bit of a climb right now. I'm gonna start getting a little steeper and steeper, but right now I'm not putting any effort in with my legs. Are you cold? No, barely any at None. all. But if I do, I know I'll speed up quite a bit. Okay, so it's definitely getting steeper now. We're gonna just keep going. I'm getting a little bit out of breath. We're going at a nice steady pace of seven miles per hour, but that is because we have lots of pedestrians around. We could definitely go a bit quicker if we wanted. Okay, hill done, hill complete. 
Easy peasy. This was the less steep gradient. So I think now we need to put it to the real test. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. I, I don't think you're going to make it up there. <sighs> I've been up that hill. It is so steep. Yeah. And this feels like with a single gear, it's, it's a lot. I know, but I've, I've got to do it. I've got to do it for our gorgeous audience. So here I am with my chippy socks in tow. Let's see what happens. Let's see what Could happens. Get Should we have a bet? Yeah, for let's a coffee? Do a, bet. a bet for a coffee. I'll yes. pay for a coffee if you don't get up, and you pay for the coffee if you do get up. Okay, it's on camera. Gosh. Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> okay. Oh, gosh. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you see what I mean? <laughs> What did I say? You're not going to get past here. <laughs> Hold on a minute. Mate, okay. this hill is steep though. Can you just show everyone just yeah. how steep this hill is? I think right, we I'll need... try, so. I mean, that is so steep. It is so steep. No, mate, honestly, it's not, it's not you, it's yeah. not the bike. Getting up here is near impossible. It's hard anyway, but also, let's be real, this is a single speed. So if you live in a place like Sheffield, where the hills are mahoosive, I would probably recommend going for a geared bike. If you live in a location like London, where it's a bit more flat, there are just slight gradients, like an 8% gradient, like the one we just did then this is a great option. So all you need to do is just look at what kind of terrain you're going on, what is your commute, and make that sound decision. I need to get a coffee now for us, don't I? Hello darkness, my old friend. Big news guys, the Adio Air 28 is now available at electroheads.com. So if you've been enjoying this video, you think you maybe want one of your own, then head on down to the description below and click the link. Welcome to Grand Market. I've got food around my mouth. Nope, you're clear. You're good. <laughs> yep, you're clear. You're clear. Editor's definitely going to keep that in. I would never. Well, lunch was actually incredible. Big up those guys, the Ethiopian. That was such a good choice for a Sunday afternoon. We're just having some coffees right now. And uh, we just remembered that we just, you know, we've left our bikes behind. Very expensive electric bikes. So let's just check the Apple AirTag. Oh, that's right. Before we left the studio, I fitted one for extra security. Here's how to do it yourself. Okay, guys, so I'm gonna quickly show you how you can install an Apple AirTag into this bell right here. So it's got a really smart design. So if you unscrew it, there's space for your AirTag. Look at that, perfect size. And all you gotta do, screw the cap back on, nice and tight. Let's test the bell. Perfect. The bikes are down that way. There's no internet, but I can see the bike is fairly close. So by my geological mind. Geological? Geographical. Geographical mind. <laughs> but you are dumb. I'm gonna say they're still there. At least mine is. Don't know about Coles. You're so optimistic, we're in London, but okay. <laughs> oh, the bikes are still here. Thank God, thank God. We didn't doubt it. The people of Greenwich, uh, well, they seem pretty nice enough. So, before we take these bikes away, we are next going to go find some tasty treats for the office for tomorrow morning because they didn't get to come out with us to the sunny Greenwich. But before I do that, let's talk about real world range. I've been riding the Adio 28 for a while now and I can report back some interesting figures. So first off, I did a range test riding the Adio 28 on max assist. And that gave me, bearing in mind, I weigh about 63 kilograms. My terrain was mainly flat with some hills being in London and the temperature was about 20 degrees. So that obviously does affect how the battery performs. With all of that factored in, I managed to get 42 miles of range and that was with the max assist. My second test, I used it like I would with any other electric bike that I would ride. So I like to ride in a lower assist usually because I like to get a bit of cardio when I'm commuting or using my bike. And when I get a bit tired or if I'm at the traffic lights or if I hit a hill, then I will up the assist. So bearing that in mind, I managed to then get about 50 miles of range. So one thing to note, as the bike does start to lessen in charge, so does the assist. Now I can see why ADO have done this because one, one, it's letting you know that you're running out of battery and two it means that it's able to actually get you further on what amount of charge is left now remember the bike is fairly heavy at 21 kilograms so as the assist starts to lessen it is heavier to pedal so you just want to make sure that you account for the range that you have with the distance that you have with the rest of your commute and charge where possible and don't forget you can look at the exact percentage of how much you have left on your battery by using the ADO app so that is something that will be useful when you're out and about Really well priced. <laughs> like, it's a bargain. 
All right, fudge is secured. We're gonna pop it into my lovely front basket here. We're gonna get it all secure, get it safely back to HQ. Let's go treat those little guys, shall we? Gonna chop it up and give it to everyone. Coconut, knife. Right, let's go make some Electra heads people happy. Hello, gorgeous Megan. Fudge. Sure. <laughs> yeah. Why not? Fudge. Oh yes, please. <laughs> oh, is that too big a slice? Yeah. Feel like it's gluttonous. All right, I'm gonna take this one. I don't care. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> let's go. Let's go. Brian, would you like some fudge? Come on, have a bit. Lovely. Thanks very much. You're welcome. Sugar keeps everyone happy in the office. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> Okay. Would anybody like a sugar break? <laughs> We've got fudge. Yeah. I know you're working hard the whole place. <laughs> Fantastic, thank you very much. Thanks, Elish. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. You're so welcome. Cole, do you want some? Yeah, okay. I'm going to go for the chocolate because it's my... Mm. I'm going to do chocolate. Mm. That's really good. So good. I'm sorry if everyone's hungry now. <laughs> <laughs>